a fat chance. Everything is collapsing beyond Harry's control to dethrone Charles and William. The British monarchy exists within a complicated framework of national governance overseen by Parliament, acting on behalf of the people. The crown is hereditary, meaning that Britain's kings and queens inherit their position by virtue of birth, not accomplishment. And who exactly is in line to the throne is determined by the position in the line of succession. The higher up the line of succession a person is, the more closely related by blood to the ruling monarch they are. When Queen Elizabeth II died in September, after ruling for seven decades, her oldest son Charles became king. This altered the line of succession, with those in the line moving one spot closer to the throne. The next five royal family members in the line of succession are Prince William, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis and Prince Harry. Though Harry is several degrees away from the throne, under the current laws of Great Britain, he has the potential to be only two deaths or incapacitations away from holding the power of the monarch. Prince Harry is currently fifth in line of succession, but of those five royal family members, only two are over the age of 18, Prince William and Prince Harry. This means he's currently second in line to be regent. If King Charles III were to become permanently incapacitated due to ill health, then William would be appointed regent. If the king died, then William would inherit his throne. If both Charles and William were to die, then the throne would be inherited by William's son, Prince George. But while he's under the age of 18, until July 22nd, 2031, a regent would need to be appointed by law. This regent, under the 1937 Regency Act, would be Prince Harry. There is one stipulation that could disbar Harry from becoming regent, and that is, the law states a regent must be domiciled in some part of the United Kingdom. This would mean Harry would have to leave his home in California and live in the UK. With the real prospect that either Prince Harry, who's moved to the US following a public falling out of the royal family, and Prince Andrew, who has retired from public life in the wake of a public sexual abuse scandal, could become regent should Charles and William both die, questions have been raised in Parliament about changing the law. Speculative reports state that Charles may seriously consider this request, but instead of removing Harry and Andrew, would expand the list of royal family members eligible to include people like Princess of Wales. Mr Morton, who's written 13 books about the royals, also shared how he expects King Charles to reform the monarchy now that the Queen has passed. He also predicted that Charles will not be remembered for his longevity as king, noting he will likely get 25 years at the very most. He told that Charles will be remembered for his climate change efforts and his role as a convener, as a chairman, as opposed to an agitator. Mr Morton said, noting how Charles is far more interested in culture and arts than the Queen was, will be the king of culture. Meanwhile, Mr Morton's 1992 book, Diana, Her True Story, was recently depicted in season 5 of the hit Netflix show, The Crown. The book was written utilising secret recordings Diana had made during a lifetime. She then provided the recordings to Dr James Colthurst, who then passed them on to Mr Morton. The Crown, however, made it appear as if Prince Philip knew about Diana's involvement with Mr Morton's book before it was published. 